A magnet invention first conceived at the University of Minnesota is making headlines tonight after being ranked one of the best of the year by Time magazine. A magnet unlike any before, stronger, lighter, endless in possibility. If it's real, it could change everything. And in that change, we might find the first true revolution of this century. It all begins with a force we cannot see, a silent pull shaping the way our world moves, connects, and creates. It doesn't roar like engines or blaze like fire, yet its influence is everywhere. In the hum of machines, in the flicker of light, in the very heartbeat of modern life, this unseen force works quietly, holding together the fabric of our age, waiting for the moment to transform it. A world without magnets. Imagine waking up in a world where magnets simply didn't exist. Your phone wouldn't turn on. Your car wouldn't start. The servers that store our data would fall silent. Wind turbines would stand motionless. And hospital MRI machines would be nothing more than lifeless shells. The internet itself would crumble without the magnetic storage devices that hold it together. Magnets are the invisible workers of our age, embedded in technologies so ordinary we rarely think about them. They're in the motors that power fans, the speakers that carry voices, the sensors that guide navigation systems. They keep electricity flowing through generators, stabilize satellites in orbit, and make modern medicine possible. Yet our dependence rests almost entirely on one type, rare earth magnets often made from neodymium. These are powerful, yes, but they come with hard limits. They weaken over time, lose efficiency and heat, and rely on materials that are expensive and environmentally destructive to mine. Worse still, most of those materials are concentrated in just a few countries, leaving the global supply vulnerable to politics, trade disputes, and sudden shortages. We've built our modern world on a magnetic foundation that is both finite and fragile. The question now is unsettling, but necessary. What happens when that foundation can't keep up with our demands? And more importantly, what if we could replace it with something stronger, cleaner, and far more sustainable? The question that changes everything. What if we could break free from that dependence? What if there was a way to create a magnet that was stronger than anything we've ever built, yet lighter, cheaper, and made from elements so common they could be found almost anywhere on Earth? It sounds like the kind of promise you'd hear in science fiction, but it's the exact question a quiet group of researchers dared to ask. Far from the spotlight, in a modest lab at the University of Minnesota, a team set out to challenge decades of accepted limits. They weren't looking to make just a better magnet. They wanted to create one so efficient, so powerful, that it could rewrite the rules of energy production and consumption. The mission seemed impossible. Magnets without rare earths have always been weaker, too unstable for industrial use. But this time, something was different. This time, the right combination of materials and precision engineering was within reach. And in their hands, the idea began to take shape. A new kind of magnet that could shift the balance of global technology. The Nyron Magnetics Revolution. While much of the world focused on building bigger batteries, faster processors, and sleeker electric cars, this small research team pursued something quieter and far more disruptive. Their work gave birth to Neuron Magnetics, a company with a single audacious goal, to create the strongest, most sustainable magnet ever made, without touching a single gram of rare earth metal. The breakthrough came in the form of a simple yet brilliant choice, an alloy of iron and nitrogen. Both elements are abundant, inexpensive, and far less destructive to source than neodymium or dysprosium. But the real magic wasn't just in the recipe, it was in how they assembled it. Using advanced nanofabrication techniques, the scientists manipulated the atomic structure of the alloy with unprecedented precision. Every layer, every grain, every magnetic domain was engineered to align perfectly. The result was staggering. 
a magnetic field up to 10 times stronger than today's best commercial magnets, 10 times more torque, 10 times more lifting force, 10 times more potential to reshape the machines we use every day. Motors could run cooler with less friction. Generators could pull more power from the same wind. Devices could shrink in size yet grow in performance. And with that, a quiet revolution began, not in politics or markets, but in the invisible forces that move the modern world. The immediate industrial impact. The first industries to feel the ripple would be the ones that already live and breathe magnets. Electric vehicles could be built with smaller, lighter motors, making them faster and more efficient while extending their range. Wind turbines could generate more power from weaker gusts, transforming regions with modest winds into viable energy hubs. In electronics, the benefits could be just as profound. Laptops could run cooler and last longer. Smartphones could become thinner without sacrificing performance. Medical imaging machines could shrink in size, making advanced diagnostics more accessible in remote areas. Even heavy industries, steel production, manufacturing and transportation, would see gains. More efficient motors mean less wasted energy, and less waste means lower costs. Suddenly, the same amount of input could yield far more output, shifting the economics of entire sectors. And then there's the domino effect. A cheaper, stronger magnet doesn't just make existing technologies better. It enables entirely new designs that were impossible before. Machines that once belonged to the realm of theory could now be built and tested. That's where the story takes a turn. Because when technology advances like this, it doesn't just improve the present, it has the power to resurrect the past. Forgotten machines rise again. Scattered across dusty garages, forgotten storage units, and the yellowed pages of old patent filings are machines that once promised to change the world before they were laughed at, dismissed, or quietly abandoned. Some were the work of dreamers chasing the idea of perpetual motion. Others aimed to squeeze more energy from the same input, challenging the accepted laws of efficiency. Many were dismissed as pseudoscience, their inventors ridiculed. But what if their failure wasn't in the vision, but in the tools they had? The magnets of the past were nowhere near as strong, stable, or efficient as what Nyron Magnetics has now created. The arrival of a magnet ten times more powerful changes the physics of these designs. It reduces friction, boosts torque, and delivers force in a way earlier inventors could only imagine. And so, in the quiet corners of engineering forums and research groups, whispers have begun. Could these forgotten blueprints, once laughed out of the room, be rebuilt, tested, and perhaps even proven right? To find out, we need to revisit some of the strangest, boldest machines ever attempted. Joseph Newman's Motor In the 1980s, Joseph Newman appeared on television with a machine unlike anything the public had seen. A massive, noisy motor that, he claimed, could generate more energy than it consumed. His demonstrations drew crowds, his confidence drew headlines and his claims drew the wrath of the scientific establishment. Physicists accused him of violating the first law of thermodynamics. The U.S. Patent Office refused to grant his invention legal protection. And yet, Newman remained certain he had uncovered a new way to harness electromagnetic force. The flaw, critics argued, wasn't just in his calculations, it was in his components. The magnets available to him were limited in strength and stability, bleeding away much of the force his design relied on. Now imagine replacing those with Nyron supermagnets, ten times stronger, vastly more efficient. The very heart of his motor would beat with unprecedented power. Friction would drop, output would rise, and for the first time, his theory could be tested under conditions 
it had never had before. Would it finally work? Maybe not. But for Newman, who died still believing in his machine, the opportunity to prove or disprove it with the right tools might have changed everything. Howard Johnson's Magnetic Propulsion A decade earlier, in the 1970s, another inventor named Howard Johnson pursued an even bolder dream. A motor that required no fuel, no wires, no batteries. It would run solely on the repelling and attracting forces of carefully arranged magnets. Johnson believed that if the magnetic fields were aligned in just the right way, they could produce continuous motion. His prototype was elegant in concept. A rotor spun forward by the push and pull of permanent magnets arranged along a track. The problem was subtle but fatal. The magnets of his time simply weren't strong enough to sustain motion against the forces of friction and misalignment. Eventually, the spin would slow, stall, and stop. But with supermagnets like Nyron's, the equation changes. Stronger fields could keep the rotor moving with far less loss of energy. The improved stability of the new materials would reduce alignment issues that once plagued his design. It's still uncertain whether the dream of endless motion can escape the realm of theory. Yet for the first time in decades, Johnson's vision could be rebuilt, not as a curiosity, but as a serious engineering experiment. A magnet unlike any before, stronger, lighter, endless in possibility. It doesn't demand attention, yet it could shape the decades to come more than any headline invention. In its pull lies the chance to rebuild how we power our homes, move our vehicles, and connect our world. Perhaps the old machines will still fail. Perhaps the boldest claims will fade once more. But the difference this time is that we'll know. We'll have tested them with the best tools science can offer. And in that pursuit, whether we succeed or fail, we'll have taken a step closer to understanding the quiet force that has always been there, waiting to change everything.